right angle trigonometry. Okay, these type of questions usually appear early on in geometry and trigonometry questions, usually in parts, say, B or C in a paper two type question. Uh, they're pretty easy questions once you get your head around the trig ratios. So I'm just going to briefly recap these trig ratios and then I recommend going and practicing some of these questions. Okay, so these right angle tri trigonometry ratios apply to right angle triangles only. So I have a right angle triangle here and we can see that's a right angle due to this right angle symbol. Now let's pick one of the angles. I'm going to choose this angle in here and I'm going to denote it by the usual sign for a symbol for an angle theta. <clears throat> okay, so let's first understand how to label the different sides when using this angle in here. I'm going to draw three arrows, one there, one here, and one here. So there are my three arrows. And I need to label the three sides now, either the opposite, the adjacent, or the hypotenuse. So this is your first task every time to label your triangle with these three words. It's only always only ever these three words. I'll start with the hypotenuse, that's the easiest one. It's always directly opposite of the right angle symbol. It's always the longest side. So I'm gonna label this H for hypotenuse. Okay, now I need to look at the other two. It's opposite and adjacent. Well, I always do the opposite first and that just leaves the adjacent. So the opposite is always gonna be opposite the angle that we're, in, that we're looking at. So this is the angle here. So this is the opposite side to that. So I'm gonna label this O and that finally just leaves A for adjacent. So that's the first task, labeling the three sides correctly. Now, you've probably seen this acronym before. You know, memorize it, it's uh, not in your formula book. Some people like to memorize it as Sokotoa, or maybe an acronym. Uh, when I was growing up, I remember this as an acronym. I used to be a golfer, or play a bit of golf while I was at school, and. A bad golfer is called a hacker, so I used to remember this as some old hackers can all hack today over apple juice. That's just how I used to remember it for some reason. It's stuck and I still remember it that way even today. So you need to remember this acronym and then let's look at them all individually. So S-O-H, the two last letters relate to our labeling of our sides. So this is opposite and we divide it by the second letter, hypotenuse. And S stands for sine. So that's the first one. Again, the second letter divided by the third letter, so adjacent over hypotenuse. And this is cos. And then finally, opposite over adjacent. And this is tan. And these are all our tr what's called our trig ratios. And if I open my calculator up, you can see that if I go into the trig section on the left-hand side, there, these are our three trig ratios right here. So they all relate to this. Okay, so how does this actually fit in? Well, a question you'll typically get would be, well, this angle is, um, or let's say we don't know the angle, and let's say we know that this side here is 10, and this is 15, find the angle. Well, I need to look, which two sides do I have? I have the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So of these three, which one has the opposite and the hypotenuse? It's going to be this one here. So I'm going to use sine theta equals opposite, which is 10 over the hypotenuse, which is 15, and then I can solve there. So we use this either to solve an angle or to solve a particular side length. Now I won't go into all the different ways to solve that. I just recommend practicing these questions. In the question bank section, we have um, a lot of different types of questions, either solving for angle or solving for side length. This video is just a brief overview as to the different steps. So step one is to label your sides of the triangle. Step two is to identify which trig ratio you want to use. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Uh, the next video we'll be looking at the sine and cosine rule.